If you've seen Equalizer Part 1, if you've seen Denzel Washington be the Equalizer in Part 1, you've seen the worst Equalizer. If Liam Neeson and Taken was a black man with a crook in the bottom of his lip and could do this, I, I, you, you, you don't really want to do that now, he would be Denzel Washington in Equalizer Part 2. If you are one of the 7 billion people that love seeing Denzel Washington get violent and get mad and flip guns around and put them in people's mouth and shoot and then get shot and kind of look at the bullet wound like, oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, you, you, you shot me. You, 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 you're right now. You don't shot me. So now I'm going to have to take your life. I'm going to take your life. You are going to love the Equalizer too. The way Denzel Washington do the villains in part two is like somebody put their hands on his mom. It's like somebody broke his sister's heart. It's like somebody wouldn't give his brother his ball back. He was like, I'm going to go get my big brother. And the dude like, go get your damn brother. Then Denzel Washington walk around across the street and be like, who, who took my brother's ball? You? You? You did it? You, you took his ball? Denzel Washington went full Steven Seagal at one point. I mean, your bones don't even sound like that when they break. I mean, like, pow, ping. Like, it sound like meat dropping in the wind dixie and you picking up, looking around to see if anybody saw you drop that meat. Denzel, this ain't probably going to get you no Oscar. This going to get you a cult favorite. This going to get you cemented in the minds of action movie goers. Denzel, please do a part three. I don't know what part three going to be about. I don't know if a part one of coach going to make your child mad. I don't know if the person in the, in the checkout line going to not give you the correct amount of change back and you got to go eliminate everybody in their life and in their past. But I will be so up for a part three.